A crowd of people marching through the streets of Sioux City to fight for the rights of Native American foster children. KCAU 9 News reporter Mallory Smith explains just some of the challenges. The march started on West 4th Street, praying and sharing encouraging words. Families in local Native American communities were bringing attention to children who have been placed into a non-native foster care home. Organizers say children who are placed in these homes with non-native foster parents are at risk of not being exposed to their own culture. And some members of the Winnebago tribe say it is difficult for them to watch. Part of that responsibility is native foster parents. Or the other flip side of that coin is parents that take on responsibilities for Indian children. To what degree do we offer that cultural awareness of that child? that has to be provided, you know, and the state, it's hard to regulate that. It's in the law, but it's hard to regulate. Following the marchers was a spirit horse, a horse with no rider on its back to represent the souls of what the tribe calls the lost children. Just knowing, learning and knowing more about my, my culture and my people, you know, it's just kind of very positive. It just makes me feel kind of wholesome in a way. Lemire says a step in the right direction is to get tribal members in direct communication with state lawmakers and those working to place children in foster care. I think we need to have a presence on council. I think we need to have a stronger presence in those political things that have that authority and power. This was the 18th year for the march. Every year it has ended with a warm meal. This year, due to social distancing, food was passed out for marchers to take home. Mallory Smith, KCAU 9 News.